Boys and girls, welcome to 2015. Welcome to Fun Time Show and Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Now, just before we roll over to 2015, I'd like us to take a look back at 2014, the year where we had fun learning skills such as Taekwondo. Check it out. How do you keep fit? This Saturday, we are at Superfit Gym in Rongai, where we'll get to chill with some students from Liza Hill Academy as they show us some Taekwondo tricks and styles. Don't go anywhere. My name is Judy Ann. I am in class four. My school is called Laser Hill Academy. I go for Taekwondo classes three times a week and I love it. One day I would like to become a champion. Moving over from Taekwondo, I wonder what your favorite episode from 2014 was, but some of my favorite were the tongue twisters. Check them out. A British soldier shot a Swedish shoulder, soldier, soldier. <laughs> on his, on, by his shoulder, a Brit, a British soldier shot, shot a Swedish soldier on his shoulder. A British soldier shot his shoulder. Shot. A British soldier shot a Swedish soldier on his shoulder. A British soldier shot a Swedish soldier by on his shoulder. A British soldier shot a Swedish sol soldier on his shoulder. A British soldier shot a Swedish soldier on his shoulder. A British soldier shot a Brit Swedish soldier on, on his shoulder. A British sol soldier shot a Swedish soldier on his shoulder. A British soldier Shut up, should you show down his... <laughs> Soldier on his shoulder. Now, a British soldier shot a Swedish... Never mind, I hope you're having a fun time so far. We are recapping some of our fun moments of 2014 episodes. And when we come back after the break, we shall go straight into song and dance. This is Fun Time on WTV. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Now, some of our fun moments also included song and dance. We had an opportunity to dance using guns. Well, not real guns, toy guns, but guns regardless. Let's have a look. Our dance group is called Chosen and we only dance gospel music, no any other music. We dance it to win souls, to call people into Christ and to remind them that they have a purpose in this world. The song that we are about to sing, uh, we are dressed like Al-Shabaab because we want to ensure that our country has security and that 
each and every person's right is catered for. Not that people are being killed now and then. We just want to secure people and to bring security in our country. So we are trying to to we are trying to pass to, to pass the message to the government that we need a lot of security. And the spirit that moves Jesus from the dead has got with me like you. And the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead has got with me like you. DJ in the mix. Attention everyone, drop what you're doing right now, get, get ready to party. Not to forget the traditional Luya dance. Avarina Vande! Avarina Vande! My teacher ate my homework. 
which I thought was rather odd, he sniffed at it and smiled with an approving sort of nod. He took a little nibble, it's unusual but true, then had a somewhat larger bite and gave a thoughtful chew. I think he must have liked it, for he really went to town. He gobbled it up with gusto and wolfed the whole thing down. He licked up all of his fingers, gave a bub and said, You pass. I guess that's how they grade you when you're in a cooking class. My teacher read my homework, which I thought was rather odd. He sniffed at it and smiled with an approving set of nod. He took a little nibble, it's unusual but true, then had a somewhat larger bite and gave a thoughtful chew. I think he must have liked it, for he really went to town. He gobbled it with gusto and wolfed the whole thing down. He licked up all his fingers, gave a bump and said, You pass! I guess that's how they grade you when you're in a cooking class. <laughs> by Ken Nesbitt. I started on my homework, but my pen ran out of ink. My hamster ate my homework. My computer's on the blink. I accidentally dropped it in the soup my mum was cooking. My brother flushed it down the toilet when I wasn't looking. My mother ran my homework through the washer and the dryer. An airplane crashed into a house. My homework caught on fire. Tornadoes blew my notes away. Volcanoes struck our town. My notes were taken hostage by an evil killer clown. Some aliens abducted me. I had a shock attack. A pirate swiped my homework and refused to give it back. I worked on these excuses so darn long, my teacher said. I think you'll find it easier to do the work instead. Great Excuses by Ken Nesbitt. I started on my homework, but my pen ran out of ink. My hamster ate my homework. My computer's on the blink. I accidentally dropped it in the soup my mom was cooking. My brother flushed it down the toilet when I wasn't looking. My mother ran my homework through the washer and the dryer. An airplane crashed into a house. My homework caught on fire. Tornadoes blew my notes away. Volcanoes struck out town. My notes were taken hostage by an evil killer clown. Some aliens abducted me. I had a shock attack. A pirate swiped my homework and refused to give it back. I worked on these excuses so darn long, my teacher said. I think you'll find it easier to do the work instead. Thank you. <laughs> In our Fun Skills Corner, we had several interesting skills we learned throughout 2014 as well. For instance, we learned how to make a key holder. We also learned how to make a ball. We learned how to make a bed, among several others. Hi, my name is Jane. And these are my sisters and brothers. Hi. And we are going to show you how to make key holders. This is how we make our key holders. It's one of the products, but it's not complete. This is another one, and this is a complete, complete product after making our key holders. And this is how we place our key in the key holder. I hope you like it. This is a ball. You can use it for football or otherwise. When we come back next, my friend David Hello. and Paul Hello. will teach us how to make one of these. Do not go anywhere. You 
first take um, something like a cloth or a paper, then you put inside something like a paper bag. You put it inside, then you tight it. When you tight it, you take a longer paper, you put it inside. Then you tight it, you squeeze it. Then you fold it. Then you tight it again. Then you take a, pa a black paper or any kind of paper. You fold it upwards. You fold it, then you take a, a rope, you, you tight it. Take the other piece. You tight it. A ball. Well guys, that has been our year 2014. We had fun moments. I hope you guys have had fun as well. Now, we are in 2015, so we do it bigger and better. I can promise you we have so much lined up for you. We are going to have lots of fun and learning as well. I'd like to know what you'd like us to incorporate. So head over to our Facebook page, that is Funtime Kids Show. Drop us your views and opinions on the same and let us work together. However, because I like you guys like that, I'm going to give you a snake preview of what we have lined up for you in terms of destinations and places we plan to visit in the year 2015. I have been your host, Mary Jerry. I will see you guys same time next week. Goodbye. <music>